So this tutorial is going to walk you through how to make some transparent white type over an image in Canva, canva.com, which is a free uh, photo layout tool. And this is the image that we are going to end up with. So keep watching and you'll see the step-by-step -step process. We are at canva.com and we're going to overlay some text on a photo. So I'm going to start out by using a custom dimension. I know exactly how many pixels wide and high my photo is. So I'm going to do it to that exact size. It's 532 pixels wide by 800 pixels high. Set to pixels here, click design. And that's going to open up a page with a, a blank canvas on it. I'm going to go over here to uploads. And I've already uploaded the image, but if you don't have your image uploaded, you can go ahead and click upload your own images, or you can also search through the images that Canva has available for you to use. Some are free and some to purchase. I'm going to click on the photo that I want to use. It sticks it right in there on the canvas. And I'm just going to click and drag out to fill up that whole image. And I'm going to go ahead and add my text. So I'm going to go over here to the left, click on my text tool, and click on add text. And Canva pops up our little text menu here. So I can go ahead and click and drag to highlight and type in my text. And I can pull out the sides of this text box Pull them on out to the edge here and the edge over here so that my box is at full width of the image. And then you just click, hold down and drag to position that whole entire text box. And now I'm going to adjust the type here. So I want a kind of a fat sans serif font. And Canva gives you quite a few choices to pick from. These are fonts that they have available. It doesn't pull fonts from your computer, so you got to work with what Canva provides you. So I'm going to go with this Hammersmith one. Let's see how that looks. And I want to go ahead and get this centered. So this little drop down arrow here gives me the option right now. It, it is left aligned to center it. All right, I'm gonna kind of click off and see how that looks. Okay, I wanna bump up the size of this. So I'm gonna select it. That's too much. There we go. And then I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna highlight it again. Click on the little color spectrum here. You can add a specific color, but we're gonna go with white. And then now I want to do the transparency part. So let's click here on transparency. We can start to pull that down. And then we'll have to click off to see how it looks. So that looks pretty good. I know I'm going to add some effects to the image to kind of darken it up and brighten it up. So I'm going to leave that for right now. I may have to come back to it and adjust the transparency a little bit. But for now, let's do some effects on our photo. So I'm clicked on the photo. I'm going to go up here to filter. And you can see that Canva has quite a few different presets. It also has some advanced options here. But I'm just going to click through a couple of these presets and just see what it does. See if there's one that I like.
So I like the festive a bit. I'm going to do some adjustments to it though to see add a little bit of vignette. Give it some more contrast. Oh. All right, that's brightening up quite a bit. Let's bring that brightness down a little bit. Okay, and you can see now that I've messed with things a little bit that my text is too light. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click back and get on my text again. Highlight that and let's just go here again to our transparency. We're going to have to change that, get that a little bit closer to 100 so that we can actually see it, but it's still showing through. And then I'm going to play around again. I think I actually want to use a different type. Let's see here. Let's see what this one looks like. And each type kind of is a little bit different, so you gotta play with it and see. What's gonna work in time in time. <clears throat> what's gonna work in terms of of the transparency, so it's still a little bit too. See through. There we go. And I think even a little bit bigger. So these are just kind of the. The tweaks that you do, keep playing with it till you get it closer to what you want it to be, how you want it to look. So once you get it where you like the way that it looks, you can go ahead and do the link and publish part. So you can um, share this link if you want to share your design on Canva with someone else, or you can go ahead and download. So you can download an image or a PDF. It's got some additional options for you there. And then it downloads it right onto your desktop, opens it up for you in preview or something else, and you're ready to go.